All right. Okay, so for your greatest good, what do you need to hear right now the most? Collective um, message. So it's going to fit for many of you, okay? What is the message for them? Okay. ducks in here. There it is. Evolution, number 24. So I'm picking up on 2024. The year, the year you evolve or your evolution. You're evolving, all right? Or you could be 24 years old, all right? We got um, Ether. It says, the soundless unspeakable. All right? The realm of its own. Dimension? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. What else? Anything else in this day? Yep. All right, we got luminous essence and we got fire. Is this it? Solaris sublime? Solar, Solaris sublime? Your heart chakra has been activated. It's it's making you like shine, like glow. All right, that's what this is, luminous. Like you just shine very brightly. All right, I feel like you've you've evolved, or you're evolving. All right, you're changing, um, and you know, I'm picking up on the uh, the crystalline. All right, let me check the bottom of the deck here, just for curiosity. It says the leap, um, ecstasy, bliss, and belief. All right. And we got balanced forces behind that. All right. So you've um, ascend ascended. That's what I'm getting. You're tapping into the ethers. Your but it's your your DNA. Look, your DNA is changing. See, that's like a, reminding me of like a DNA strand. And we also got a feather here, so I'm picking up like the angelic realms. All right. And we got the dragon. It's the year of the dragon. And I'm also picking up on mermaids. All right. So whatever that means for you guys, you know better than me. All right. Your chakras are aligned. Your heart chakra has been activated. Yeah, warrior of light, warrior woman. Look. The angelic realms. Archangel Michael. It says, have you answered your deepest calling? This is about your truth. Your truth about you. Right? Or what you believe. It has nothing to do with anybody else on the planet. And we are all one. All right? We project our thoughts onto other people. They can take it if they want it, right? If they believe it. Or they, they project it back out. That's how we're all one. It's contact. Projections. All right? All right. Uh, it says, you're not for everybody. Embrace your weirdness. All right, and face your true north. Maybe you've always been weird. Maybe you you hid that for a long time, and maybe this was unconsciously or like it's going to be for different reasons for you for you guys. But the void. So I feel like um, you you spent a lot of time in this void, just not knowing what you believe or um, finding out. All right. The void. It's like un unlearning everything you've learned from other people. 
because they learned it from someone else. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, so it says answer the call. <laughs> someone needs to pick up the phone here. It says, what is your soul calling you to do? Someone needs to um, answer the call. Pick up the phone, I said. That could be significant for somebody. I didn't mean it like that, but, like, I guess I might have for someone. It says, the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. All right, so you, you this is, like, things that you pray for or desire. Um, yeah. And then at the bottom of the deck is boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? All right. learning experience and ask help from others all right so you could be learning something new um it's okay to ask for help you know but there has to be boundaries too because we can't be doing you know uh, if we do all the work for somebody we can guide somebody but it's like they have to do the work because how is that helping them it's like enabling someone there's a way to help but not do all the work Right? That's what I'm picking up for somebody that just came through, right? It says get more information and take charge and action. Yeah. But do the work. I'm surprised that card's not here. Let's see if it comes out. Friendship and union is at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here about um contracts, soul contracts or um you know, the reason someone might be in someone's life. It says in the near future be assertive. All right? Be assertive in the near future. All right, so use your words to communicate what you need, right? Um, this could be with anybody, right? If you're out asking for help or trying to, uh, you need to, um, but I'm also picking up, like, don't overshare. I don't know who that's for, but um, it's okay to um, describe, you know, what, what you need help with, right, or why, but... Um, it's like a time and a place. Use your use your knowledge or your senses to figure that out with people, like wh where the boundary should be. Okay, intuition and downloads. Yeah. All right. Bottom of the deck is raise your vibration. All right. What are we putting? What are we putting into our systems as far as what we watch on television, what we eat? All right. The people we hang out with, or it, that's all our diet, all right? And the bottom of that is harmony and harmony and resolution, all right? I'll take that, too. So, raise your vibration. All right. Oh, I wanted to pull from this deck here. Um... Take charge and action in the near future, but be assertive. It says you need to get more information about something. Uh, you could be getting downloads. Use your intuition when it comes to like the people you're 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 speaking to or whatever this is, because this is here. It's like communication, um, harmony, and resolution. So raising your vibration will help. Whatever that is for you, it says walk. Walk your truth. And that's clarifying this card here also, okay? Walk your truth. Okay, what's this card here? It says cosmic connection. So you're you're connected to, to the ethers. You're connect you're connected to the as you're above and below. So the earth, see, because coming from both this is um I don't know what to call it. You're just connected, all right, to the cosmos, to up there and between worlds here, all right, new direction. So you're leaving something and stepping into something new and picking up on a fresh start for somebody, all right? This is in the near future or this is like now, all right? Um, communication, yeah, be assertive, all right? Um, this is get more information, walk, walk your truth. So... Um, it's not about just g giving the good advice. It's like, take, do you take your own advice? That's coming through for somebody. It says, take charge and action. Yeah, cosmic connection. So I'm just picking up on raising your vibration. That is going to help you stay connected or get connected. All right. 
So you're going to be switching directions in the near future. So you're leaving the old skin, stepping into like something new. All right. Um, be assertive when it comes to your communication. All right. Keep doing this, please. Uh, time out. So um, it says intuition and downloads. Time out. So you could be getting, you might need to rest or... Um, meditate I'm getting meditation with because the tree is there and it's giving me like get grounded all right because you're you're receiving you're receiving the information you need from your cosmic connection your downloads that's where your downloads come from okay and then we got awaken yeah it says raise your vibration on uh, awakening So raising your vibration, you may go through another spiritual awakening or something like that. We got integrity at the bottom of the deck. We got balance and eternal union. So this is a union with yourself, the divine, your masculine, your feminine. All right. I am getting that. And this is clarifying harmony and resolution. All right. So our own relationship with ourselves reflects our relationships with other people. You're going to get what you're putting out back. It, the, the universe mirrors you. All right? I just saw 11, 1144. Third eye vision. All right? And now it's... All right. Let me see. All right. Let's pull some tarot on this. And then I'm going to pull these cards first. What else? Personal growth. Number seven. It could be a life path seven or born in July. Or this has to do with this month here. We got a manifestation. Manifestation number eight. Um, and leadership, 81. All right. So I'm getting seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Something's going in order. Divine order. All right. So July, August is significant, and maybe even September for somebody, all right? I feel like things are going to, um, it's, you're evolving. Uh, spiritual career, 78. You could be born in 81 or 1978. You don't have to be. Patience, number two, all right? Spiritual career. So you could be leading, you could be stepping into a leadership role with your spiritual career. Like you're getting ready to have a spiritual career. 13, 13 on the timer. And um, it's because you've learned some sort of patience here or you need to be patient at this time. Within these next few months. Alright. This spiritual career, I feel like you could be helping others. Like, not being a leader, but, like, being a leader. You know what I mean? Like, you're not... It, not in the shadow aspect, in the light aspect. All right? It's not a... It's not... It's with integrity. It's not um, something... A control thing. It's... It's helpful. All right? Surrender and music. So... Maybe this... Music is significant. It, it comes out a lot. So, new beginnings. All right, let's see. Let's keep going with this. Nine thirty-eight. All right, that's the time. So, uh, could be born in September. You could be thirty-eight years old. These are just when it was coming to mind, guys. Alright, what else? What else do they need to know? These cards just came out in the last reading, so I guess they're important. Um, so we got air, shadow, and release. Something you're saying is going to help release something when it comes to your shadow. Or... Um, Or cutting someone else free, or...
the truth about something that took place. Ding, ding. Someone may have been in their shadow. It could have to do with a knife here. I don't know. Or just releasing something. Someone's releasing their shadow. This could be an air sign. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else comes out. My phone is going off. Hold on for a second, please. I feel like whatever whatever this is, you might already know what it is. You could be psychic. All right. You need to release your shadow or like. Something you're saying, you could be saying, it, it could be negative. You could speak negatively. You need to cut that out. <laughs> you could be psychic. Maybe you see a lot. I don't know. Past Something's past life here. All right, let's see. Divine masculine and divinity. All right, so this has to do with your, your divine masculine and home is at the bottom of the deck. And your divinity. This could just mean your masculine energy within you or your divine masculine. You could be a feminine or you, divine masculine. This is for you. Power is behind that. All right. So, all right, let's pull some more. Let's, I'm going to do pull some tarot now. All right. So this could go every single way I said for different people. That's why it came to my mind. All right, there could be different people watching, and each way I said this could go, it could resonate for somebody different. All right, I'm also getting that. I'm not saying it for no reason, right? It's not me being confused because I feel like someone's, you know, it's me getting different messages for different people. All right, we got Anunnaki and we got Reptilian, so controlling drama. And conflict of, in, of interest. We got predator, survival, and tyrannical. All right. You could be dealing with controlling people. Or you could be controlling people. Like, and they want you to stop doing that. I don't know. Um, it says divine feminine birthing... Fertility. Someone could be trying to be controlling towards their divine feminine here. Someone could be in their shadow. And that's what I'm getting with the reptilian here. It's like our shadow. Ding, ding. I don't know. Um, controlling drama. So, what the hell? And we got bold, sassy, and resilient. So divine feminine, um, you could be very bold and sassy, resilient. Maybe you had to deal with your divine masculine um, trying to control you. Maybe there was a lot of drama. Maybe this person brought drama into your life. Maybe this person lives in their shadow a lot. I feel like you're cutting this person free. At the bottom of the deck, we got Enigma, Elusive, and Sensitive, all right? And behind that is Responsibilities, Lessons, and Growing Up. Someone needs to grow up, or um, maybe you grew up, all right? Divine Feminine. So, what else? Let's talk more. Mm. I don't know who, the, who this is for, but I feel like it's many different messages are coming through right now. I feel like my crown shop is wide open right now and just information is flooding in. So let's see what comes out, please. For their greatest good always, that's a lot. All right. So someone was greedy and held back from a connection here. Now they want to communicate, okay? They see you. They see you. They see you. Okay, you could be creating right now. Very confident. Okay, there's a tower here. All right, so maybe whatever they want to talk about, maybe you don't really want to talk. Yeah, this person's now is there. They're waiting on these ships to come in. Maybe they could. I don't know. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, and behind this is someone wants to offer you something. Maybe they held back in the past, and now they want to come in and and offer you. But or they were holding back 
this could be finances or how they felt be, because they wanted to slow you down when it comes to this connection. I'm not really getting that. I'm, I'm getting that they want to come towards you now um, and give you something that they held back in the past. All right. This could be finances. This could be emotions. All right. This is about a union. This masculine and feminine here. All right. The lovers is here. Divine masculine, divine feminine. All right. Yeah. Someone sees you. All right. Or this light is this, this, because we got the three of cups here. So this queen, <laughs> someone could be seeing what these people are doing. The light can be being shown on um, the power of three, I'm hearing, right? So someone could be up to some BS here. Or this is a third party situation. Okay, maybe this partnership there was a third party situation, but this hermit, queen of pentacles, sees it clearly. It could be an um, earth sign, all right? There's a tower here, all right? All right, what else? So someone was greedy in the past. They held back how they felt or they stole money from you. Now they want to come in and give it to you, all right? This could be your divine masculine because the lovers is here. This was a choice they made. Now they want to talk, all right? Queen of wands. So you could be, you could be in these energies here. You could be working on your money, um, and you could be creating. All right, um, something was toxic here. Yeah, because this is clarifying the lovers card, the devil card. Okay, so this is like the shadow aspect. This is the lower vibration of this partnership was toxic. All right, now you're free from this though. You're free. And judgments here, all right? So maybe someone is aware, awakened to the fact that this you're free from the, their, their bullshit, all right? Maybe they had third parties. They were very sexual. I don't know, but something's over here. Maybe the heartache or whatever. Maybe this person's disappointed now, okay, for how they acted in the past, all right? They were spreading their seed everywhere, right? It's over, yeah. All right, I don't know. Yeah, now there's this conflict, and this person is now burdened. All right? What else do they need to know? You could have blocked communication, all right, to work on yourself. Or you're at a stalemate. Yeah, that's like blocked communication. You're not talking to this soulmate of yours, right? Um, now, this person could be confused, or you block them from your work, or they're blocked from, they blocking your work. They want to apologize or tell you how they feel now, right? All right. They want to come in. I feel like this is a lot of gaslighting, yeah, and manipulation. Yep. Okay. And with the two of cups here, they want to connect. They want to connect so they can lie and lie some more. Steal some more. All right. I feel like there's karma here. Someone's serving their karma, and that's what it is. Has to do with a house or a union, a marriage. Okay, someone's stability. All right, this is a union. This is someone you were married to, or this was this was your match at one time, or or now. I don't know. This I, I'm not getting that. I I feel like you cut this person free, and now they're feeling left out in the cold. But I feel like that's how they left you. So it, it, the, the universe is restoring balance. Okay. All right, so five of pentacles, ten of cups, so I feel like you're happy. Or so someone's feeling left out in the pool by their family. Uh, page of pentacles, there's an opportunity here, high priestess, okay? Or something's secret, something's a secret here. So... Yeah. Someone's in their head. I feel like the cycle is complete. I feel like you know the truth about the situation, okay? Someone may have left you out or, like, stole your money or you were homeless. Something to do with your family or your happiness. Page of Pentacles could be a child, could be an opportunity, all right? Or someone has some sort of proof here of some secrets that took place, all right? Maybe online. Now someone's in their head. Could be this King of Pentacles, or this King. This person's worried about their finances, or they're worried about a wealthy man, or 
I don't know. This could be this King of Pentacles in their head. Alright, let's see what else. I don't know what this is, guys. Alright, so we got the Fool. The King of Swords in reverse. So some, someone's a narcissist. Somebody's a liar. And they took some sort of risk here. And then we got this here. This could be an air sign. Masculine did something. Or someone wants some sort of new beginning. Could be... I'm getting the... I'm getting, um... Libra Taurus or water sign. Masculine having to protect themselves or someone's trying to block something here. I feel like um, that someone's standing their ground. This could be a couple or it doesn't have to be. Yeah, someone's protecting their new beginning or standing their ground when it comes to this new beginning. All right. This could have to do with something online. I'm getting like mixed messages right now. So this could all be from one person and this could be exactly what you're dealing with. 2020 on the timer. So I don't know, just because it doesn't sound familiar to me. Someone's leaving a situation behind, okay, victoriously. Uh, yeah, to have this new beginning and this happiness here, okay. Something's coming in quickly, all right. Happiness, yeah. So, ooh, what's this? Oh, and I picked this up by accident. That's no mistake. All right. So this celebration coming in here. You're gonna, you're, whatever this is coming in is gonna make you very happy. Oh, we got. Listen, listen. Someone could be coming towards you. Could be this hierophant. You could be getting ready to. You leveled up. You're gonna get married, or you're leveling up to this hierophant energy. Okay, someone who teaches others what, what you've learned, right? You could have a spiritual title. The star, healer, all right? The moon and the king of, all right, so, yeah, this is leadership. Some king of wands um, did something, like, secretly towards a healer here, um, or a star seed or a divine being. Yeah, their investment didn't go as planned. It could have been this year, trying to put someone in this box. All right? <laughs> it's a no-go. All right? Yeah, return that energy to sender, okay? Yeah, that's the blessing here. Yeah, justice behind that. All right? This King of Wands tried to put something to rest for you. This wasn't successful. It didn't didn't go as planned. All right. Dang, you could be resting now or recovering from whatever this is. All right. That something's going to be given back or something's been sent back. All right, guys. This is the message I have for you. Please hit the like button. All right, thanks.